So tonight I'm playing in Bansdale at Rumours Lounge, which is going to be so much fun. I'm playing from 1 till 3. It's about a four and a half hour drive, so I'm just getting ready, packing all my bags and stuff. And then I'm going to go pick up Bruno, because Bruno's coming along with me. We're going to take some photos, we're going to take some videos, we're going to make a vlog, a recap, an after movie, whatever you want to call it. But right now, we're packing my bags, and then we'll get on the road. So right now, I'm going to give you a rundown of what I take to my gigs. So the first thing that goes in the bag is what you're sleeping in. You don't need that till tonight, and you'll be probably be very pissed so you've just got to throw it on it doesn't matter what it is just chuck it in the bag leave it at the bottom the next addition to the bag is underwear that doesn't even need to be explained so we're going to throw that in the next thing we add to the bag is our clothes we're going to go out to the gig in so you can't be wearing your nice clothes throughout the day because you know you might spill something on you might get dirty then you'll you look when you're playing. And then lastly, we have to remember the USBs and headphones. Once I rocked up to a gig in South Australia back in the day, I forgot my USBs. So basically that's all I'm taking to gigs is just a carry-on bag no matter where I go. If you're catching a flight, it's nice and easy. So that's pretty much all the preparation I do on gig days. You know, I've done all the music throughout the week, so I don't have to worry about that. I can sleep in, I can wake up and get on the road. So everything's ready, I'm ready to go. So let's get on the road and let's head to bands out. So we've made it to Bands now, we're about to check into our hotel, so we'll give you a real quick tour of our room. So this is our crib for the night, we've got three beds and two people, so I showed you the big one. <laughs> Smart thing is, we could move the two small ones together. Or we could share the one. So I play in five hours time, so what we're going to do, we're going to go get a feed, we're going to grab some beers, we're going to come back here, start drinking, because the club's just across the road, so we're going to walk to the club, and get on the beers there, and then DJing from one till three, which will be crazy, so can't wait. He plays in England, you're thinking he'd be a bit better. Jesus. He's useless. So it's time to go out for dinner. It's like 8.30 almost. So we should probably go get a feed, then we'll go past the bottle out, grab some beers, come back, start pre-drinking, and then we'll get into it. <laughs> you got keys, boys? Yeah. You sure? Yep. 100%. Promise. Yeah. So we come all this way, and I think we're just gonna go get Subway because we're not really hungry, so we'll get something nice and easy. And I think Subway's the best choice right now. What's going on over there, mate? Want to have a few pizzas instead? Can I have some pizza? <laughs> really? <laughs> so we ended up crashing the uh, Subway staff party. Yeah, yeah. So they gave us heaps of like extra shit. There's pizzas, there's like... Are there any beers in here? That dude there, he got VB. I mean, I got something else, but it's outside. I'd just like to say thank you for your awesomeness, guys. It's all right, see you. See the rumors. <clears throat> So our um, subway experience was way better than we ever expected, but we're heading to the bottle -o now. So we're about to head into the bottle -o. There's a few of the local boys down there, just down the road. Might have to go ask them for a few stubbies. A few so we're about to head into the cool room and a rug up. Slab of green grenades. The boys. Oh, might need your help to grab a couple of these, boys. Yeah. Get How many do we need? I can tell you one each. Yeah. Because it decides whether I go buy another slab or not. So here's the uh, manager of the club we're playing repeat, at repeat tonight. That, Dude, are you still on the VBs, man? I have to go get another slab. Hey, he's actually came back, holy shit. <laughs> so the lad um, from Subway invited us back Crack for the after party of the staff party. What's going on, bro? Here the balls. See, me and Zal up. Yeah, we will, man. Next time we're here, we'll come say hello. So our subway party's over. Thanks so much, guys. See you yes. another time. So pre-drinks has begun. We're back at the hotel. Uh, the camera's almost flat, so we're gonna have to chuck it on charge. So you're gonna miss out on a bit of the vlog, but Australia are losing. How? All right, so we're all changed and ready to go. We're just having a few pre-drinks. Um, I'm smashing. I've had a few now. Bruno's had like three. So we're on our way. So if anyone wants a few stubbies, room four. If so anyone wants a few beers, come around to room four. 
Oh, I just nearly drowned doing that. Why are you lying? Alright, uh, so we're back. We were just charging the camera so we weren't vlogging. Uh, we've been through about a six pack each. We're pretty pissed. So we're about to head to the club. Like, whatever happens from now on, we can't, you know, we can't explain. So yeah, it's time to head to the club. I'm playing in about two and a half hours and we're gonna get so lit. So from now Hold on. Me. So if none of this makes sense, we are so sorry, but we are blind. It'll make the vlog funnier. So it's time to head to the club. We're about to roll there now. Uh, it's only across the road, so we're gonna walk there. We're pretty blind. Let's get it. So we're heading to the club right now. It's literally about 100 meters away. We can't wait because last time we were here, it was crazy. The crowd was crazy. Everything was crazy. All right, you just call me Donna. Donna kebab boys. So with one of the coolest security guards ever. Hang on, brother. Hang on, bro. Good to see you again. <laughs> this is the owner. Yo. What are we gonna have a fireball? Fire oh, I don't have a fireball. I'll do yeah, you do fireball. Deal done. Done. <laughs> Alright, so we're on the shots. Just like that, it's done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is what this is. Yeah. The baby long neck. So tonight is over. Wait, fucking sick. Wait, fucking sick. Oh, so, so tonight was fucking crazy. Stop it. We I are blind. I can't be on camera. We're with the man. <laughs> you don't know this bump. We're heading back to the over. hotel. It's over. Tonight is over. Wait, is Clad Norm the best venue in Melbourne? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it yeah. is. Yes, it is. Thank you. We need to go home. <laughs> You're just fucking What are you all awake? Oh, you got a kid in you. Yeah. How many kids in you? I've had eight, mate. You've had eight? Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Go to sleep. Yeah, I thought I was. Yeah, I think I might be labour. Nah, you'll be right. If you need us, alright, hit us up. Knock on the door. Knock on the door. Let us know. Knock on the door if you need to have a kid, yeah? <laughs> Come on, let's go. We gotta sleep. <laughs> What's happening? Crocky. <laughs> Alright, so it's Sunday. Sunday, um, uh, oh, Sunday morning. Jesus, I feel pretty rough, but I'll be fine. You know, you get some KFC into us. That's that's probably one of my favourite things about playing away. You get to go to KFC and just eat as much as you fucking can. Johnny Toscano. Shout out to Johnny Toscano. My whole fucking Snapchat story, wait, my whole Instagram story last night was all about him. It's about 11 a.m. on the Sunday morning. We went to check out at 10. Fuck the system. Bruno's still in bed. We're gonna head to KFC soon. We're probably gonna grab like a fucking family burger box each. <laughs> I won't be sober till about fucking Tuesday. So we're gonna have to end the vlog there. It's been a crazy night. I'm not sure what the footage look like. So we're gonna just go with it and we're gonna go with what we've got. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time. <laughs>